Well, welcome to Wizard World Comic Con. I, of course, am Beelzebrod from Bordello of Horror on CW57. Today, we are here standing with the builder and owner of this amazing DeLorean car, straight from Back to the Future. Oliver, how did you do it? Well, we were big fans of the movie, so we watched the film and recreated what we saw on the screen. This is an amazing car, and if I understand correctly, you drove it here? We drive it everywhere. It's a very good car. It's street legal, roadworthy, and we've actually driven it throughout all 50 states. Oh, that's amazing. Now, you were telling me earlier that it was you and your wife, Terry, that have built this amazing machine. What was that process like? Well, like I said, we were both fans of the movie and, and fans of Michael J. Fox. And uh, when we both saw the movie back in 1985, we thought, wouldn't that be the greatest car in the world to drive around in? And years later, we made it happen. We built it ourselves. And we noticed that it got a lot of attention. Yeah. We thought, well, what if we redirected that attention to something a little more worthy, worthwhile? And uh, that's when we joined as volunteers for the Michael J. Fox Foundation for Parkinson's Research. Well, what a wonderful foundation. Can you tell us a little bit about your involvement with that and how you've enjoyed it? Well, sure. About the same time we were building the car, uh, Michael sat down to, to build his foundation. And uh, it's, uh, their sole purpose is to, uh, I think Michael said it best, that their intention is to go out of business as soon as they possibly can um, because they're aggressively seeking uh, a cure for Parkinson's. That's right. That's right. They had that uh, kind of viral campaign that went on a little earlier, didn't they? They had a, a viral campaign that the Parkinson's Institute did, or am I thinking of a different one? Uh, I might be thinking of a different one. The, the Ice Bucket Challenge, I think, was not for Parkinson's. But they, they are very, uh, very active uh, in, in uh, social networking and all that kind of stuff. And, and they're always doing some, some kind of fun, exciting thing to engage uh, both uh, their audience and, and uh, people that are affected by the disease and, and those who are helping to, to find a cure. That's wonderful. And you've been traveling these Comic Cons, Wizard World here and in other states, and in support of, of that organization. And how many Comic-Cons now do you think you've been to? Oh, really hard to count. <laughs> I, I should have taken notes, I guess. But uh, we've been doing this for about 15 years. And we found Comic-Cons to be a great audience with a lot of enthusiastic fans. And a lot of people just want their picture taken in the car, and that's fine with us. Uh, you know, as long as they're making a donation, I, I don't care what their uh, motivation is for, for making it. Yeah, that's right. So, so come and get your picture taken with the car, but leave a donation. In fact, leave that first so that you know, you're participating with the rest of the community. Absolutely, I, I think it's a good rule of thumb. If you take something, you should give something. That's right, that's right. Yeah, you guys have done an amazing job here. This is just an incredible labor of, labor of love that you guys have done, and it's just amazing to see people getting to do what they want to do with their lives. You know, how do you feel about that? Uh, well, you know, that's, that's what life is all about. I, I like to try to uh, inspire people to take their passion and direct it towards a purpose. And that's simply what we've done. So when, when people think what we're doing is so, you know, if they compliment us, that's very nice, but really we're having fun. That's right. That's right. And that's what's important. And we're having a good time here today. And I've had so much fun interviewing you. We're going to let you get back to business. Thank you. Nice. Yeah, nice to talk to you too. Take care. This is Beelzebrod, and we're signing off.